originally I was going to go with a square pyramid structure, but after laying out the base, I realized that a triangle would be more than strong enough. And I also was pinched for time. And I kind of improvised just triangulating all the way up to a pyramid. I'm sure if you started with a wider base, maybe four or five, you would triangulate to a level of five, and then you could add an, an additional tower up. You could also do a square or a triangular tower up instead of pointing off and then having to individually stack singles. But How would you plan is, to come around round two to add a ping pong ball on top? A ping pong ball, yep. Bigger base. So it would end up with that sort of configuration, but at layer five. So this design looks very similar to the last one that had the tower on it. As you can see, it now has a ball. This is actually a stress ball. It's a little bit heavier than a, a table tennis ball or a ping pong ball. I widened the base by one toothpick length. And as I had to triangulate up with more toothpicks, I also had to harvest um, some toothpicks. So there's some missing from the base. There's also some Play-Doh missing from the base. I scraped some off so I could attach all the toothpicks to one another to facilitate that wider base. And there's also the extra toothpick on top of the ball. So this makes it a total of one, two, three, four, five layers supporting the ball, which is pretty good. Did you use up all the toothpicks? Yes, I used up exactly 100 toothpicks and all of the Play-Doh. And this thing's pretty strong. I and the cap and my watch nope <laughs> okay well I guess that's our limit